in 65,000. So we're going to say, okay, there's the investment of uh, 65,000. And then we had draws. I got to add the draws. So I'm going to select these cells, right click and insert shift cells down. And I'm going to say, this is going to be draws. Draws is here. And I'm going to make that a negative because it's going to be a decrease to the equity. So negative of the draws. So there we have that. So then this is our beginning balance. It increased by the 65,000 investment of the owner into the business. And then it decreased by the draws, the money the owner took out. And then we had the net income, which was down here from the income statement. That's the change in the equity. So we had the beginning equity and the change, which is an increase in this case. That takes us to the 143,719. I should be able to double check that by simply selecting all the blue accounts, which you'll recall we did when we looked at the balance sheet, 143,719. Now let's unhide the balance sheet, putting my cursor on the skinny here, going to J, right click and unhide. I'm gonna go all the way to the right to find my financials again. Find my financials. Where are my financials? So here's our balance sheet. We're in balance assets equal liabilities and equity. This equity account, I'm now going to change instead of pulling it from the trial balance. I'm going to say this equals from the equity statement. From the equity statement. Boom. We're still in balance. Still in balance. Didn't mess anything up, right? No. So then we got the income statement. Income statement down here. Getting bottom line, net income, that net income tying out to the statement of equity. The statement of equity. I'm making a statement about equity round here. So <laughs> then we, if we sum this up, there we go. So there's our statement of equity. So you can see how those are going to tie together. So next time we're going to start to make our financial statements and we'll see, okay, some of those things we talked about, about grouping some accounts together and so on. We'll start to do that and see how we can do that in Excel and try to think about what kind of things you can do possibly in accounting software to, to help you with the presentation purposes versus internal use of the financial statements and what type of things that even if using accounting software like a QuickBooks, might you still want to do to clean up the financial statements for external presentation purposes.